I will be demonstrating muscular strength and endurance assessments, beginning with the push-up test, which is used to reflect upper body muscular strength and endurance. Be sure to attain proper breathing like exhaling when pushing away from the floor. For men, the test begins at the down position with hands facing forward under the shoulders, the back is straight and head is up using the toes as the pivot point. Raise the body by straightening the elbows, then returning to the down position until the chin touches the floor. There is also a modified knee push-up. With the legs together, the feet are plantar flexed, the back is still straight, hands shoulder width apart, the head is up using the knees as the pivot point. For both tests, the back must be straight at all times, the stomach must never touch the floor, and the push-up must be to straight arm position. The test is stopped when unable to maintain proper technique within two repetitions. The maximal number of push-ups done consecutively without rest is the score counted. The next test is the one repetition max, and it is used to assess muscular strength and is defined as the heaviest weight lifted only once using proper technique. Warm up with a low intensity aerobic 5 to 10 minute exercise. Include a lightweight warm up with several repetitions like lifting the bar. Select an initial weight that's within your perceived capacity, usually around 50 to 70 percent of your perceived max. My initial weight was 65 pounds. I attempted a one repetition max and it was successful. So I rested for three to five minutes before my next trial. I increased my weight progressively from anywhere between 2.5 kilograms to 20 kilograms until I couldn't complete the lift successfully. Keep in mind that a one repetition max should be obtained within four sets to prevent fatigue. The one repetition max is recorded as the heaviest weight lifted successfully through full range of motion with proper technique. My one repetition max is 85 pounds. Once body weight and one repetition max have been determined, a strength to weight ratio can be calculated to classify upper body strength. It is calculated by dividing the weight lifted successfully by the body weight. My strength to weight ratio is 85 pounds divided by 112 pounds, which gave me 0.76 and placed me in the good category. The last assessment to determine muscular strength is reps to fatigue of estimating one repetition max. Certain populations like adolescents, sedentary people, and older adults are more prone to injury during a one rep max test due to needing more technique, specialized skill, and stress on the bones. So the reps to fatigue or using a sub-maximal resistance test is a better assessment. There is a linear relationship between the number of reps performed with the amount of resistance where an increase in weight positively correlates with a decrease in reps. Typically, 10 reps completed to fatigue indicate 75% of the individual's one rep max. This is a formula that can be used to calculate a one rep max based on the number of repetitions completed.